Today I am sharing 12 cleaning habits that have totally transformed my home. Let me tell you, these 12 habits are things you can easily do them every day. It's gonna keep your house so much cleaner. I've been doing these for years. You're gonna love them. Okay, the first one is when I'm about to vacuum the house, I will just simply go around and I will clean off the surfaces. I will dust. I will even just go to my kitchen table and sweep the crumbs off onto the floor because hey, I'm about to vacuum. I might as well do that. It's just this like muscle memory thing I have now when I say to myself, I'm about to get the vacuum cleaner and vacuum. I will first just quickly clear off some surfaces and get that dust and that dirt down onto the floor so I can vacuum it right up. The next one is something I'm gonna call the two thing rule. And it's gonna be a new rule that you're just simply gonna make up and you're gonna tell everybody in your home that they need to follow it. It's such a simple rule. It's something that I do every day. So what it is, is two things. When you go from the downstairs of your home to the upstairs, you're gonna take two things that belong upstairs with you. Vice versa, when you come from the upstairs and you go downstairs, you're gonna take two things from the upstairs that belong downstairs and you're gonna take them with you. If you're anything like me, I don't know, stuff just ends up all over the house. The upstairs stuff ends up downstairs, the downstairs things come upstairs. If you don't have an upstairs or a downstairs in your home, just do this for like rooms. You know, you could say anytime someone's in the living room, they need to bring two things when they leave that room with them that belong somewhere else. It's just gonna help you and cut down on things in your home being out of place. If you're enjoying content like this, click that subscribe button down below. It's free and I make videos twice a week. Another thing that I think is helpful is just clean your bathrooms on the weekend and do all of your bathrooms at once. If you've got one bathroom, two bathrooms, three bathrooms, however many bathrooms you have, just I like to do it on the weekend because I have a little bit of extra time and I will just say to myself, I'm going to clean all of my bathrooms. I'm going to do them at once. Sometimes I'll even go and I'll do like a mirror, move to the next bathroom and do a mirror and then a mirror. Then I'll do the sink in the first bathroom and then I'll go to the second bathroom and do the sink. I don't know why. It just sometimes is easy to create like an assembly line with the bathrooms and I just get it all done. I've shared this tip before, but I must put it in here because these are like really good cleaning habits and I think this is a really good one. Clean as you go. You've heard it a million times. This is like a rule if you work in the restaurant industry and you're cooking, they want you to be cleaning while you're cooking. Who wants to get to the end of cooking or the end of the evening and just have their kitchen look like a disaster, right? So cleaning as you're cooking, cleaning as you're going is the best way to keep your home clean. And it's also the easiest way. You don't even have to think about it. I mean, you're already in there. You're, you're standing around, you're waiting, you're cooking clean something. Okay, if you're looking for ways to reduce dishes in your home, and this kind of helps when people are like drinking drinks throughout the day, just give, give everybody their own glass or their own mug, you know, their own cup that they have to use all day long, whether it's a coffee mug or a glass and just say, here's your glass for today. And then they just refill it and use it throughout the, the day. That way you're not throughout the day finding like cups and mugs and glasses all over the house. For this next one, I think that a lot of times having a little like easy to remember simple cleaning schedule can be very helpful. So if you think that would be helpful, I'm gonna put one on the screen here. These are just some ideas of things you can do throughout the week. And it's just kind of like a general guide or a general schedule so that you can say to yourself, okay, it's Monday, here's what I should do. Tuesday, here's what I should do and, and so forth. This way, you don't have to stress about cleaning. You don't have to think like, what should I do today? You already have this schedule in place. This next habit is at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day, you're gonna either open or close your kitchen. And what I mean by that is, when you're done for the evening and you're about to go to bed, just take five minutes, clear the dishes, wipe down the surfaces, and kind of get your kitchen nice and tidy for the morning. If you are too tired, because this, this does happen and sometimes, I completely forgo this step and I go right to bed. So if you're too tired, then just do it in the morning and open your kitchen. So come on down, put your dishes away, clean your surfaces off, and just start your day off with a clean kitchen. Whether you do it at night, whether you do it in the morning, it doesn't matter, but just try to have this daily quick little kitchen tidy where you're opening and closing it. It's gonna make your home so much cleaner because I do think when the kitchen is messy or untidy, it just starts to snowball in the house and then next thing you know, you see the dining room and the living room and the bathrooms, everything just kind of gets worse from there. Another habit that I have and that I've been doing is before I go grocery shopping, I will clean out the fridge, I will clean out the cabinet and I'll kind of like toss any old food or expired food, things that we're not eating, I will get rid of them. And then I will make room for the new food that's coming in. This has just made it so much easier because before I would go grocery shopping and I would come home and then I'd be having to simultaneously clean out the fridge, clean out the pantry while I'm trying to put stuff away. 
then you end up putting stuff in that, you know, you just shove stuff to the back and then you end up not seeing it and not eating it. It's a whole big mess. So just get in the habit of doing it before you go grocery shopping. You will be shocked at how much dirt and dust is in your home's air filter. So this is just like my little PSA to you. Just replace that filter. It is going to really eliminate the dust in your home. It's going to make it have like cleaner air, fresher air for you. So make sure you know how many months you can go and when you should replace it and it will really freshen up your whole home and help to keep it a lot cleaner. And I also invested, if you're interested in something like this, I can link it down below, but I also invested in an air filter. My son has allergies and so I got this one that kind of cleans out the allergens and it cleans out the bad smells. I mean, I really am enjoying it. If you're looking for one, I do like it. This next tip is for people who have pets. We don't have any pets, but we do watch a lot of dogs. I, I dog sit many dogs. My kids want a dog, so that was kind of our compromise. But do a couple of things to make your home cleaner if you've got dogs. I'll just tell you some of the things that I do. Maybe this will give you some good ideas. One of the things is when I've got a dog visiting, I always leave a towel at the front door. That way, when the dogs come in, you can just quickly like wipe their feet or whatever you need to do so that they're not tracking mud in your home. We also keep a blanket on top of our couch or next to our couch. You know, we like to have the dogs on the couch with us, so we just throw a blanket on and then it, we don't have to worry about the couch getting locked of hair or mud on it. And that way it can be tossed into the washing machine when the dog goes home. And bathe your dog regularly is another great tip. You know, I find that if you're on top of the baths, then your dog isn't shedding as much because you kind of lose it through the baths. I saw this tip online and I really liked it, but it's to create a landing pad for your stuff. So essentially what the idea is, if you have like a hard time putting stuff away and you know, you've just got certain things that you use and you don't want to put them right away right away, just have a tray or an area it's called a landing pad and you can just put your stuff there. That way you know at some point you've got this landing pad of things to put away. I actually have been doing this myself just like subconsciously. At the bottom of our stairs, I've got things that I know need to go upstairs and I know need to go somewhere so I will just put them in the same place and then that way when I'm going somewhere or I'm cleaning, I will know to go there and kind of clean those items up. It's also good to use a tray or something because what ends up happening is then you can kind of corral all the items in an area rather than just having them strewn everywhere. We all have pockets of time where we're waiting for things to do. So this last tip here is look for those two to three minute opportunities when you could be doing something. Whether you're waiting for your kids, maybe you're waiting for the microwave, maybe you're on a call and you're on hold, just find those pockets of time and pick a small task to do. This is a habit that I've gotten into. So instead of just like being on the phone and then just waiting on the phone, I will end up figuring out, okay, well, I'll just quickly empty the dishwasher. Or I will just even go clean one toilet. You know, something small, just a little task that you can do. Okay, guys, those are my 12 cleaning habits to transform your home. Let me know in the comments below if you have any habits that you do that really help keep your home clean and tidy. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna keep the cleaning going, I'm gonna link a video right here, click on it. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.